Hey everyone, it's Lily with JLS Gaming, and today I will be unboxing and building this Arcade 1UP Street Fighter 2. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe. So I'm jumping right into it. As you can see, the video is fast forward because I built the whole thing and it did take quite a while. And I did run into a few little snags and I'll get to those in a minute. As you can see, we already had our dog Brizzo give a little cameo in there and our cats are in there somewhere too. If you've seen our game room video, you will see that we also have another Street Fighter 2 arcade cabinet, but this one is a little bit different. This is the Street Fighter 2 Big Blue arcade machine, and it is slightly bigger than some of the other arcades, and it comes with a riser and a stool. It also has a light-up marquee and a light-up deck protector, and it is live Wi-Fi enabled, so you can actually play online with your friends, which is a really cool addition to it. And it doesn't have one game, it has 12 classic Capcom titles, which is really cool. So it's got Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, and a lot of other ones, I will make sure to put the full list below so you can see everything that it comes with. And it's retailing for $599.99 at Arcade 1UP, or you can get them at GameStop, or a few other retailers have them as well. So definitely, if you like it, be sure to get your own. Because there's not that many people online to play yet, so we're hoping as everybody's orders get trickling in and they're able to put the whole cabinet and everything together there will be more people available to play online so that's going to be really fun and overall it was pretty easy to put together it wasn't any harder than any of the other arcade cabinets that i've put together pretty clear-cut directions everything is labeled really nicely which i appreciate <laughs> some of the other times when i'm putting things together the pieces are not labeled correctly, but these are all labeled really well. All the screws and everything are also in labeled bags. It just really makes the process a lot easier. One of the things I do, if you notice, there's a towel that I put underneath. It's just a regular beach towel, but I do that to protect it to make sure that, you know, it's not rubbing up against anything that's on the floor. It's not getting any sort of little nicks and scratches before I'm able to put it up. It feels very stable once it's all together and one thing I liked that the other ones don't have is at the end you'll see me actually putting some screws into the side where the riser is so it will actually attach the riser to the arcade cabinet itself which the other ones didn't have. Also be sure that you wind up attaching it to the walls because it could definitely be a tipping risk if you have kids or pets or anything um, and they're playing on or around it we definitely don't want that to happen and that's all included which I love as far as all the electronic components and the wiring and everything that's super easy as well part that was probably more annoying was the one that you see me doing right now which was peeling the plastic because they were cut so that they would fit around the buttons and that took a little bit to kind of get everything around but overall it was an easy build but it is a little time consuming i didn't include it in the video but there is a stool that also comes with it i wasn't able to put it together the same day because it did come missing a couple screws for it so i had to contact arcade one up and they were actually really good about getting back to me in a timely manner and they said that they're gonna just put them in the mail and they should be here so those will pretty much look like the ones you can see behind there but it's a beautiful blue color to match the big blue at this point as you can see the arcade cabinet is all put together all the electronics were put together and now i'm just putting the riser together that was pretty simple as well like i said the instructions are really well written so as long as we're following them, easy peasy. 
As you can see here, as far as the playing area, it aligns perfectly with the other arcade cabinets. And here's the finished product. It is beautiful. Just such beautiful artwork. Look at that. We're definitely happy with our big blue arcade machine. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay. But as always, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and let us know, are you planning on getting one? Or if you have one already, which is your favorite game? Bye!